let us conclude both aerobic and anaerobic respirations aerobic respiration it takes place in the presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration it takes place in the absence of oxygen aerobic respiration complete oxidation of glucose takes place here the oxidation process is done in the presence of oxygen so that complete burning complete combustion complete oxidation of glucose is takes place here in the anaerobic respiration glucose molecule is incompletely oxidized in the absence of oxygen the process is done so that incomplete oxidation it happens and end product of carbon dioxide and water end products are ethyl alcohol or lactic acid we discussed in the previous just previous 2 minutes lot of energy is liberated approximately 38 atp molecule here because of complete oxidation of glucose molecule the majority high amount of energy is get liberated <coughs> relatively here in the anaerobic respiration process the small little amount of energy is get liberated approximately 2 atp molecule because incomplete oxidation of glucose molecule the aerobic respiration occurs in plants and animal cells anaerobic respiration mostly seen in primitive organisms like bacteria and yeast and also human striped or striated